Hi guys and welcome back. We're gonna uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting this engine out and we will tear it down. I don't know if I'll get this all in the same video, but let's get the uh, engine out of here. This is the cherry picker bucket truck. The engine blew up in this thing, or it didn't blow up, but I mean, it, it, a rod came loose and uh, yeah, something happened. Started making a heck of a lot of noise. Uh, we'll find out what caused that. But this thing's a bit more work to take out than your regular engine. So it's got like this thing here, this pump. So I gotta take this thing loose and slide it over. Cause it looks like if I brought the engine straight back, it looks like it hit, wouldn't it? So I think I'm gonna have to take that loose. Uh, then take the bolts out for the engine. Basically the fuel line and all the normal stuff. Here, if I can, can you get the fuel line loose. I mean the uh, throttle cable loose, the fuel line, and all the great normal stuff that you gotta do on one of these engines to take them out. This isn't much. But uh, yeah, I'll get all this thing out of here. We'll take a look and see what we find. Guys, I wanted to show you something while I was pulling this out that I saw. It was kind of strange. Look at that. So, did the crank get that loose to where it hit there? I don't know. We'll find out soon. All right, let's take a look, see what the oil looks like. Looks all silvery. Get you guys down, look at it, see how it comes out. Yeah, a lot of silver in there, huh? Yeah. 
Well, let's we'll just see. Looks like, what was that? A chunk of something. Hmm. Who knows? Globs of junk. Well, if I see anything else, I'll bring you back in. We'll just uh, move on from here. See what else we find.
All right, so here's what I found so far. Of course, there's just rod bearings all through here. Or mains, I don't know. Obviously an oiling issue somehow. I, mean, I don't know, we put this one together with a 20 millimeter pump, which probably should have used a 26, but you know, 40 horses came with 20s. We never planned on putting it into this truck. So it wasn't really built for this. Looks like it uh, just lost oil pressure. It's not enough oil pressure. For some reason it could have been center mains worn. We'll find out shortly. Yeah, number three rod is loose. Just a little. I was thinking maybe it broke the crank. Mini bets. I was thinking that before I ever took it apart. That's what I'm thinking. It's seized really good. It's really seized. So anyway, we'll take a look inside. All right, just trying to get the case so you guys can see. So we're ready to come off. Let's take a look together. See what it was. Flippers fell out. That's all right. Wasn't worried about that. So it was obviously number three rod got hot show you guys here so you guys can see let me put you guys on this side and we'll get you looking down so you can see obviously number three got hot but you know what's funny is, is I didn't pull the post piston off yet but it's really not that loose I mean it's loose I and mean, it was making a lot of noise so definitely these look pretty kind of polished here the center main let's look here I we didn't pull the pistons because it was just so it was really seized so I had to get the uh, I don't know, it was dry seized it was squeaking god that rod was making a whole lot of the noise For something that doesn't look I mean it looks bad but not that bad is the crank broken? Look how hot that thing got all the way across. Side to side feels a little bit loose on that one. I mean, there's probably where the problem is. Look at the cam followers. The wear in those. This didn't have cam bearings. Remember the 40 horse doesn't normally have cam bearings. And look at here. How worn that is. 
Might have been losing oil pressure out of there. Yeah, these ones look like probably was losing enough oil pressure with the 20 millimeter pump. It should have had, if it had a 26 in it, it might have survived. Uh, it came with 20s, you know, the Ford horse did. But uh, the other thing that happens on these 40 horses is this thing here lifts up. And it's loose, but it was leashed down, so it wouldn't do that. Unless it sucked air on the other side or something. Don't know. Sometimes you just don't know. Oh, the mains don't look too bad. I mean, the center main bearing doesn't look terrible either. Weird. Another thing I look for is to see if this thing sheared off or something like that. Came out of the cam somehow. Doesn't look like it was any kind of issues there, did it? Huh, don't really know why this engine, uh, see, this is a 20 millimeter pump, this is small, so this little thin thing. Well, this is a sign it was losing oil pressure. Look, the last lifter back here, I'm thinking more like it's the cam that was, uh, causing the issue what do you guys think so the second to the last lifter it was getting wasted there that was dry let's look at the last one on the other side wasn't as bad but this one was getting that one was getting beat up the very last lifter on the oil chain. Yeah, I think that's, a, that's the one. Ah. Slippery suckers. And I think all the lifter boards are, are tight. Nothing to look for. The lifter boards were really loose. They could lose oil pressure there. Really common thing on a 40 horse. Let me check the other side of the case. All the lifter bores were tight. Yeah, look at this. This, look at that. This uh, hole right there is just gone. The hole for the uh, the pin. The case is okay. Case right here. But it, it was trying to spin that bearing. And this one just seized on there. So all the, so this one was squeaking. So that just lost oil pressure to the back of the engine. I think it was from the uh, cam follower. The cam, the case being worn from the cam. It's the only other thing I can think of. I'll look it over if I see anything else I'll let you guys know but I don't so far I don't see anything definitely lost just like the oil pressure just went away so I'm gonna look at uh, we'll look at the what's it called the uh, pressure relief valve stuff like that see if uh, on these, I think it just, uh, I can't remember how the oil flow goes on these, on the single relief, but I think it just goes through the oil cooler, and then as it reaches full pressure from going through the oil print cooler, then it relieves it to the main bearings, so it starts with the oil cooler is what the uh, way I understand it 
goes through the oil cooler priority. Then as soon as it reaches full pressure, then it bypasses just to go to the main, main bearings from the charts that I've looked at over the years. But uh, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, weird. I mean, it had oil pressure back here because you can, or, you know, because it was, these were okay. It just, you know, as it goes through the engine, it starts, hip, you know, oil pressure starts here and works its way to the back. Everything at the back lost oil pressure and it's just uh, fragged. So that's what happened. I guess that's it, guys. Uh, it's getting dark. I'm going to go ahead and call it on this. Uh, as you guys saw what happened. Uh, mystery a little bit, but, you know, there's uh, no way to know for sure that the cam was the issue. But this is the second time. This this engine did this originally, I but I thought it was the, the oil pickup had lifted. And then I just went through it we just went through it real quick and just did a quick cheapy rebuild and uh didn't you know didn't line bore it didn't get the cam bores should have got those things done probably and it would have lasted that's what i'm thinking now but you know again it wasn't even i wasn't like trying to you know it was just an engine i was just putting in a my 61 bug and i just wanted something to make it run it wasn't running and I, you know, I wasn't going to put a lot of money into a 40 horse. I'd rather put a bigger engine in. So, yeah, that's why I did it that way. I wasn't going to just put a ton of money into a 40 horse. I, I don't really like, you know, the power they have anyway. So I'd rather just go with a bigger engine. Anyway, I'll talk to you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you think.